Once upon a time, there was a deafening roar that awakened the people like never before. With their eyes open wide, they shouted in fear, what new sound is this? And covered their ears. It was punk. So what is this punk, you may want to know? Are there people called punks? Did they make it so? Did punk come from here or way over there? Rise up from the dirt, spring out of thin air? Some think punk was born in downtown New York City with a sonic revolution at Max's and CBGB. Kids jumped out of their seats, started climbing the walls for the music of television and the New York Dolls. There were talking heads, too, and the Velvet Underground and the fierce band Blondie, all with a fresh new sound. From the borough of Queens came contenders to the throne in blue jeans and leather, four teens called Ramones. They got straight to the point, a one, two, and three, four. Hey, ho, let's go. Two minute songs, never more. Out near Lake Michigan, where they build America's cars, Motown funk met gritty punk, and Detroit had a new star. Iggy Pop and the Stooges were known for outrageous stunts. If you ask, anyone will tell you Iggy never wore a shirt, not once. Back in foggy London town, things were getting really bad. All the young kids in the streets seemed to be going mad. They played music that was new, it was bold, and it was brash. The Damned and the Sex Pistols, the Buzzcocks and the Clash. That's right, the Sex Pistols, a name naughty as can be, would harass the upper class with songs of queen and anarchy. They hoped that their sound would never be forgotten. So they made up silly names like Sid Vicious and Johnny Rotten. And when London was burning, the mighty Clash heard the call. They played songs for working people and equality for all. When the Clash fought the law, they were the coolest band around. With their punk rock and ska, they defined a brand new sound. Punks made a lot of noise. They had something to say. And just like the boys, the girls came to play. Susie, Go-Go's, and Blondie, X-Ray Specs, and the Slits all made a holy racket with their glitter and their grit. Out west in sunny L.A., they lived close to the beach. Bands like X and Black Flag had a punk gospel to preach. The Descendants and the Dickies, Circle Jerks, Germs, and Weirdos were all punks who had fun and kept fans on their toes. In Washington, D.C., Bad Brains were the rage. They played reggae and hardcore and brought on punk's new age. They say punk is a sound that can be loud and fast, but it's also a movement. Ask the Misfits. Ask Crass. This was a quick story of a few of the bands who made the world safe for the punks of the land. In your city or town, you'll find many more stories of punk culture to learn and explore. So what is this punk you still want to know? Is it noise or just junk? Did it die long ago? Punk is music, it's art, it's culture and vision. But if you really want to know punk, you just have to listen.